Hey guys, welcome back to Fran Bao. Welcome to Etherista, where we are right now. We finally managed to, yeah, save Fran. And, well, she has legs and arms again. Not her human body, but we are trying to redeem that. And the, uh, to do that, we will have to go to the Great Wizard, but we have a whole new area to explore, guys. Look at this. Look at this. This is what we are going to explore. And we're going to start off right in this episode. Although we also kind of started last episode, but it doesn't really matter. So here we are. We'll have a look around first. Oh, what a tiny shop. And it smells really funny. Hmm, what is this? Good. Thread and cloth to make stuff. And buttons. Hmm. <laughs> Wow, that piece of metal looks grand! Hmm, is there something else that we can check out here? If not, we are going to start... Okay, this one here. There's a lot of fabric in the box, but I'm sure they don't use it to make clothes. They are all naked, but they are pretty, so it's okay. <laughs> ah, you're so awesome, Fran. Okay, so let's start talking to these guys. Hello! Oh, who is there, who? Me, Fran! Can't you see me? Oh, now I see! A little! You have four eyes! Wow! Four eyes? I don't have... Uh, what are you selling? Only the very best plobbers of the entire land! Do you want to smell it? Sure, they look like coconuts! It's poo, miss! Poo that I collect! They are not coconuts! Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow! I thought it was really bad to eat poo! Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Hee <laughs> hee. I have to go and, uh, get going now. Good luck with the plobbers. Bye. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, really funny. Yeah. Okay, so what about you? Greetings. Are you interested in fa- uh, Greetings. Are you interested in fabric and thread? I have some. Of, out of curiosity, miss. Oh, it's um, okay. Out of curiosity, miss, for what purpose do you use fabric? Everybody's naked. Well, whatever you need for, we also have thread for making other things. I see. Hmm. I have to go, miss. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay, so let's talk to the blacksmith then. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day. I'm proud of the molding this piece of iron. Oh, for what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Oh, I see. So you can do all kind of metallic stuff? Sure. If you have some ideas, we can talk about them and padam! I do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working. But if you need my services, you know where I am. Okay. Can we... Give this to him. Okay, I, I really didn't want to stab him or anything. I just wanted to check out if we can use the knife. Okay, but we will. It seems like we will have to be involved with the blacksmith once again at some point at least. So, what's going on here? Hmm. Oh, to carry heavy things. Hmm. Oh, oranges give me a headache. Baby roots are gonna get eaten. Hmm, fresh and juicy pineapples. The ladybug has really huge melons. They look juicy. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> the sentence just makes me think of other things. Okay. Hmm. A bench to sit on when you're old and when to feed, uh, want to feed the birds. Or just because you get tired. But I'm not tired. Because I'm very young. Hmm, okay. Nothing here. Aha! Oh, there's newspaper. It has this newspaper. How beautiful. It looks like they have only good news. The pictures are nice. I like the baby seat. Alright. Can't read it, unfortunately. But I guess it's fine. Tick tock, tick tock, goes the clock. Many cogs inside this one. Oh, a cuckoo clock, how pretty. 
What a lovely stone with many clocks. I don't know what the sign says, but it must be clock related. I think clocks are a bit evil, telling you the time all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nothing new here. And all of these are the same. Okay, so let's start talking to these people then. Hello, miss. I think you have a beautiful fruit. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? Oh no, I'm on a mission to go back home and I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh, so from what part of Ethesta are you? Are you from outside the island? No, I'm not from Ethesta at all. I'm a human. Oh, a human. That's new. Well, I hope you complete your mission. Thank you, miss. I certainly will. See you. Mm, okay, so let's talk to the clockmaker then. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. Oh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. Listen to clocks. Take talk. Hmm, and do you know where the mountain courtroom is? The mountain courtroom only exists in wintertime. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be in mountain courtroom. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. Oh, a layered reality? That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where is the clock? We already know that, by the way. Well, go towards the castle, but turn to, to your left when you see the stairs. You find a big clock on the trees. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You're very nice. Bye. But the thing is, we don't know how to turn it yet. We need additional things, I think, but I'm not sure. Okay, so let's talk to the newspaper seller. Oh, it's a lady too. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read it first. Uh, hmm, what is Ethesta's language called? Don't you know? It's called Ethernish. Are you a tourist? <laughs> yes, I am a tourist. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a friend either. Welcome to Ethersta. I hope you will have fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye. Okay, so she can't help us read the newspaper. Okay, so let's keep going then. Ah, oh, what's going on here? Hmm, delicious fruits and vegetables. They all look so tasty and fabulous. Maybe Aunt Great can make a soup when I'm back home. Oh, what is this? Oh, tiny figures. Black and white. Oh, that's a lot of gold. Very shiny. A boat ready to depart. Up and beyond. Woo! Hello, is anybody in there? I guess not. Maybe Kitty and I can hide there if the monsters come back. I hope he doesn't come back at all. Oh, the monster. Singular, okay. Hmm. Oh, a lot of wood. Maybe there will become a boat someday. That looks like a spider. Many legs crawling on my spine. Ugh. These must be extraordinary boats with special abilities. I wish I could fly back home with one of these. But I guess I can't. I don't have superpowers. Hmm, okay. Anything else that we can check before talking to these guys? Doesn't seem to be the case, so let's talk. Hello, little Root. You are so cute. Oh, thank you. You are cute too. Yeah, I'm Fran. And you? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zalma and I want to sing all day long. Yeah, what's your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one and two, one and one, and one and two or three, two and three or five, and three and five or eight, and I don't remember any more than that. I know that that's cool, it's fun. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. Hmm, okay. I want to talk to this guy first, or lady, who does, who knows. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. I have seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. 
And could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home. I see. Sadly, these boats only work with the thirst, uh, eyes. Huh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Okay, so we can't use the boats? Interesting. Okay, so let's talk here. Hello. Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. Huh? What do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Uh... Join you? Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas. I am the Valokas. Black and white, as shadows and light. Is this sort of a board game? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you win, huh? What do you say? Yes, sure. What are the rules? First to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical lines wins. Oh, it's tic-tac-toe. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Sure, it sounds like a game we used to play at school called tic-tac-toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Okay, so let's play tic-tac-toe. So we start. All right, we won. Oh, okay. They play first this time. Okay, we will draw here, most likely. Oh, 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 I messed up. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have to do this then. Yeah, it's a draw then. Okay. It's about who starts first, and they got really lucky once again. Of course, we have to do this then. Mm, it's gonna be a draw once more, huh? Okay, let me just start. Thank you. Let's go here. Okay, and now we got them covered because we just do this. There we go. Okay. Alright, we start once again. So, the odds are in our favor. So, we're gonna do this. So here we go. Alright, the odds in our favor once again. I guess we do this. And now we. Oh no, I'm so stupid! Oh, that was incredibly stupid. I shouldn't. Oh, I'm so stupid. It's incredible. Okay. Gonna start here. Hmm, so it's a draw no matter what, right? Yep, it is. Oh, come on, they start again. Oh, I shouldn't have lost that one game. That was just very, very stupid. Losing that one game really hurts. It's another draw. 
We start. Okay, let's not mess up this one. I'm gonna go here. Although that was super stupid, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, now we can't win anymore. It's gonna be another draw. Hmm, let's go here. Let's do this. Let's do this. And now we win. Nice! Alright, oh, they start again, so let's do this. Hmm. Okay, so it's gonna be another draw here. have to do this, yes. And if we do this, then it's going to be another draw. Oh, I'm so... St oh, why am I so stupid, guys? I don't... Un oh, that was just... Oh, I have to think about this more. Yeah, another draw. So they will have to do this, and then we will have to do this, and then it's gonna be another draw. They start again. Another draw. They start again. Losing that 50-50 is really bad. Yeah, once again a draw. Lots of draws here. And they start again. It's really unlucky. So let's do this. It won't matter because... Oh, no, they complete. Oh, okay, but now we have the chance to win another coin. Did I mess up? No, I didn't, because now we have them covered. All right, here we go. Oh, faster than a snail! We got an achievement for that! Nice, but I guess after having gotten the achievement we don't really need to very well done little creature you're a master okay well I guess we don't really have to play anymore but I really don't know hmm okay I don't really know what to do to be honest Hmm, we got a coin. What is that coin good for, though? Huh. Can we maybe pay the boat maker or anything? Hello again, little creature. Hello again, little guy. I hope you can find your way back home soon. Okay, no, we can't. That is... Hmm. Okay, so since we talked to the clockmaker, maybe something has changed with the clock tree. And also, I think we haven't tried to use this yet, have we? Oh, it sounds like something broke. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but how does it work? This is a very old clock. Hmm. There's a symbol, but it doesn't seem to show. 
Oh, I don't know, maybe you can ask for help. Okay, if that's the case, maybe the clock worker on the market can help us. Let's talk to him. Sir, I have a little problem. Mm, yes, I don't have I don't have any. The big clock on the tree it's broken, I can't make it work. Please help me. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you, I have to go home. I'd never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time to go uh, time my life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. Well, here, sir, your golden coin. Oh yes, but you have to offer me the job first, all right? Do it and be polite. Oh, sir, clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold and in the name of uh, time, I beg. I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course, that was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. All right, so it's good that we uh, got the uh, got those coins. All right, so he's fixing it. Hmm, you were right. The clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Okay, so we will have to wait and see. Oh. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Oh, there. What is it? It seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral breaking a defenseless clock. Ah. But why would somebody break it? Kamalas, winter, mountain courtroom. There's stones. Many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamalas, the evil darkness. They work for Emma, the terrible black. And Kamalas are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me. Rama wants the stones. But what I don't understand is, for what purpose? Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Is Rama a giant black monster with goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes. You know him? Yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones. They are my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Aha! That is why you need to go into winter time and go to Mount Cotrim. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here. Aha! It's a remote control for the clock. You will be able to travel into all four seasons in just uh, in just a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you are too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. Please call me Cogwind. All right, Mr. Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye. Wow. Okay, guys. It seems like we have a totally new toy to play with. This is a very old clock. Okay, what happens if we do this? Works well, well. Now. Wow. All right. It has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show the time. We don't need time. Okay, before we do anything else, I want to check out what happens. Is there something different now? And now, for example, this is frozen. Oh, the eye seems to be very thin. Wow, okay. Well, that's a cool feature. Beforehand, we had two worlds to explore. And now, all of a sudden, we do have four worlds to explore. I really like that. But here, nothing changes? Not really, right? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Everything looks so closed. Okay, in winter, everything is closed, huh? Aha, uh -huh. interesting. Everything looks so closed. 
Aha. Aha. Okay, in autumn he's not here anymore. Interesting. Can we still talk to him? I'm just wondering. Hello, Mr. Cogwind. Hello, friend. I'm in a hurry. We, can't, we can talk later. Okay. So let's have a look here too. Aha. Uh -huh, interesting. Very interesting. Hello, is anybody in there? I guess not. Okay. Wow, that's a cool feature. Although, so far it doesn't seem like... It doesn't make any difference if it's spring, summer, or fall. So... That doesn't to be that doesn't seem to be that much of a difference. But guys, I'm really sorry. We have hit the end of the episode mark. If you want to know what this clock is capable of, you'll have to tune in next time for Fran Bao. See you then.